Hey guys, welcome back to All Things Knives. It's your host Fletcher, and today we are reviewing the Seiko that my wife bought me for Christmas. Uh, off the top of my head, I did forget what the model name was. I believe it's the SRPG 37. I could be wrong. Uh, the definitive name of this guy is going to be down below in the title. So I'm sure this will seem silly as you're watching it, but uh, sometimes I'm a silly person. So without further ado, let's get into it. I have had this thing since December of last year. In case you are wondering, it is currently the 5th of October at 10.31 and a half p.m. Okay, so kind of lets you know how late I'm filming these things. Uh... But it's normally when I have free time. So, but let's, I mean, let's get into this thing. So I wore this thing for quite a while, uh, a couple months straight, and then a little bit on and off, and then uh, a couple days now, just to get a feel for the watch again. And let me just say, this thing is amazing. I'm really glad my wife bought this for me for Christmas. So again, thank you, Audrey. But... I think it's a testament to, even though this is one of their field grade watches, as to why Seiko does make such a great product. So you can you can probably even see, I, I do have some nicks in the watch face itself. Let's see if I can get that light to, you see on the 10, there's a small scratch above the 10. So sadly, I, I did get some scratches in the, in the uh, glass itself on the watch face, but I got those at work. And if, if I'm going to have a product, say like a really nice watch, uh, even though it's a lot of money, I'm going to take it wherever I go. So most likely, if I'm getting scratches at work, the watch is also going to get scratches at work. Um, and, and when it comes to watches, I'm not about babying them. Like I literally will swim with my watches if they have leather straps. I will go into a chlorinated pool. I will go swim. And then I will go shower, and I will let them do their thing. And honestly, that is my belief in wristwatches. Because you can't always take your phone everywhere to tell you the time. But you should be able to trust your watch to be able to take you anywhere and everywhere and be able to know the time. So, first of all, let's get into maybe some, some cons on this watch. So, it is a canvas strap which is pretty itchy at first, but it does break in. So maybe the complaint would be that the break-in period is a little uncomfortable, but I believe it's kind of like that. With, with every watch I've tried, it has always been like that. So not really something I'd knock this guy for. One thing I will maybe knock this guy for is it did take me a little bit to figure out how to properly adjust the date and the day, meaning the number and the name of the day. Right. So, and I didn't know that until I talked to one of the guys I worked with. Um, so shout out to Victor. Uh, I'm not sure if he's watching, but if he is, shout out to Victor. He really helped me out. And because he had some Seikos, he told me how to change it. I kind of talked to him about it before I even looked it up um, because I figured he might know. And of course, well, he did. So just so you guys know, you will, pu you will push this all the way out to correct time but you will push it in just a little bit to correct, sorry, you'll pull it out just a tad bit to correct the date. Let's see if that did it. Yeah, it did. So you go up for the day and it has it in Spanish, I believe, or French. And you just turn up for the date itself uh, sorry, the day itself, and then for the date, you will turn down, actually. So, for example, you see that? Just to show you, and then you go all the way through. This is very much, uh, it's, it's almost, de I would definitely classify it as an automatic, because you do have to, or sorry, a uh, manual, because you do have to wind the watch. But what's cool about this is, let me show you guys. So as you can see, I have some wear on the strap. I, you know, 
don't know if you guys can make it out too well, but it's because I've been wearing this thing. So any wear is just for me wearing it. So what's really cool, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this, is see like there's the movement, but there's a pendulum in there. You see how that wasn't there before? But watch, I'll do it again. See how it's not there? So that pendulum, when you move, helps charge the watch, which is really, really cool. Um, fantastic. I love that because it, uh, it kind of encourages you to be active a little bit. So, And then one more thing is the face itself has chargeable hands for basically late at night you can charge them with the sun it is meant to be a field watch so there you guys go look at that that's what it'll look like when it's at night okay so the numbers don't glow but you have all the notches right so and if you're using them you know a manual timepiece instead of a digital you pr you already know how to tell time like and, and let's be honest it doesn't take a genius to tell time using a a watch everyone did it for a couple hundred years before they came out with a digital watch so it, it should be no problem so look at that you get a nice glow it does need to charge it charges best with sunlight but you can charge it with a flashlight like you just saw me do uh, and then let me show you how you would put this guy on so this is what I do at least every morning I wear this watch Normally I hold it, hold it close to me, but then you guys can't see that. So, of course you get it on there. I see it back a little bit. Go in there. You got two loops here. So you feed it through. And then you loop it back. Like so. If you guys can see. So you go through those double loops but you don't want to pull it all the way through. Let me show you, sorry, it's pretty close, but you guys can see, you don't want to pull it all the way through, you want it to about there, and then leave it off. And that's how you that's how you put this guy on your wrist. And if you put it far enough back, it's actually more uncomfortable to move my wrist backwards to where it would touch the, the, the piece than, uh, than natural. So leaving it about there is fine for me. I'm not gonna bump into it and, uh, make myself uncomfortable you do this to wind it or if you just start wearing the watch and moving around that pendulum will charge the watch so one thing i did notice about this though is eventually it does kind of lag behind if you don't keep it charged up so for example first thing you should do in the morning if you're going to wear this watch is if you you know let's be honest most people have their phone so if you have your phone make sure it's synced up to it charge it throughout the day like every time i get a couple seconds i just do this and i charge it and I, and I make sure it's staying current with the time which it is um i just had to double check oh uh, it might actually be a little slow depending on what my phone says but i can't check that until and that's normally what it'll do it'll run slow it's never going to run fast on you so it will, it will run slow and that's maybe my only complaint about this is I love the way the watch looks. I love the way it feels. It just, it, it, it exudes class, right? Like it is a classy field watch, right? Like if you want a classy watch on a budget, this is a good option, you know? But if you want one where you can wear it in a suit or you can wear it in your <laughs> cargo shorts and boots and a ball cap and a t-shirt and uh, go out and about i mean this is kind of the watch that can do it all and i believe with the seikos you're able to change the straps out and and this watch can can do it all but again i do hate that it does it will run a little slow um, that's probably my only complaint is you do kind of need to keep an eye on it and make sure she runs on time and that you're taking the time to charge it. So if, if this is a watch where only every couple of days you wear a watch, when you pick it up, you're going to have to reset the time, recharge it, make sure she is all good to go. And by charge, I mean just winding it. You're going to need to wind it up, okay? 
because even though it's technically, and I think they classify it as an automatic um, because of the pendulum system, it can keep going, but only if you're really active. Otherwise, you got to keep winding it and, and keep working with it. I will say I do really love this watch because it does look good and it can kind of do it all. That most of the time when I do wear a watch, it's because they look good on the wrist. You know, watches look good. And it, it, it takes me back, and just to show that they do classify it as an automatic, it does say automatic there. But I would say treat it more like your grandfather's old wind-up style watch. Uh, it'll kind of maintain its charge because of the pendulum, but you do have to be really be moving that arm to get that thing going. Um, and there will be times where the, it'll just stop, and you'll lose your date, and you'll lose your day, and you'll lose the time. And so you will have to be able to go back and, and correct all of those. Um, besides it running slow because of the wind, that's really been the only complaint with this watch. Otherwise, I do love it. I love the way it looks. The The watch face did get scratched, but I'm going to be honest, I come into all kinds of abrasive stuff at work. It, it could have been anything. It could have been anything in my free time, too. It hasn't happened in any of my Timex watches. Actually, maybe my my first Timex I got, um, but not the new one that's solar. And so I'll definitely be looking at Seiko's in the future. I'll be honest, though, my, my wife lost her job in August, so probably not anytime soon. It's also why I haven't been devoting much as much time to the channel recently as I've just been having to work and focus on school, and it's been a little stressful. So, um, But I'm hoping to get into uh, posting videos again and making them more regularly for you guys. If you guys do have... Oh, sorry. Even before I go to cut off the video... Would I recommend this to someone? Yes. For $200, you get a decent watch that looks good. You get the feel of a manual, uh, but it, and you get the feel for a Seiko. But it's in there, and it is a, it's a little beefy. Like, it's a little tall, but it does look good. And it is a little, like, uh, rounded and telescopic, if you kind of see it. It kind of uh, is concave. Concave. And so, in my opinion, it does look good. It is kind of telescopic, like it focuses your sight into the center of the piece. And to kind of get back to what I recommend this to someone, yes, I would. For the money, like for a $200 watch, there's not very many options from good companies out there, like from known quantities, I should say, where you kind of know what you're getting. And, and Seiko's one of those, I believe Citizen's one of them, and, and there, there's a few others. Uh, dang good watch. I love it. Definitely going to keep carrying it. I'm probably going to get some more scratches until I have to send the, the glass back to Seiko for them to, you know, maybe buff it out or, or replace. But I'm going to keep wearing this. I'm glad my wife bought it for me. And if you're someone looking for a gift for someone for the holidays or a birthday or an anniversary or anything like that, or you just want someone to have a good, dependable watch, I think the Seiko's going to fit the bill. Just let them know that they got to kind of police the you know, the time a little bit, but, uh, most, most of the time I don't really have problems with it keeping track. You just got to keep it winded. So it's normally on days where I'm a little more sedentary, where I have that problem when I'm at work, not really a problem unless when I, I just started it back up and didn't reset it. Right. So I definitely would recommend this watch. I definitely do like it. The straps comfortable, very adjustable. The, you know, the housing, I haven't had any problems with just the glass. Uh, and then once you know how to kind of use the manual of operation uh, of this watch, it really is phenomenal. It sits well, feels well, and because it's a Seiko, you're able to customize it with straps and all that and kind of make it your own. So if you guys have any more questions about this product, go ahead and shoot them down below. I've loved carrying this watch. I love my wife, that my wife got it for me, and it's definitely going to be a keepsake just just, uh, well, for two reasons, a great watch, but also because she got it for me. And so if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. If you like the video, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell, and you'll get notified when more videos like this get posted. As always, guys, don't you guys forget to stay sharp.